Hi everyone, uh, here we are again. Uh, I'm going to do a review of the experimental spiced winter ale that I brewed on the 5th of December. Um, it included 95 grams of chopped root ginger, 16 chilies off the chilli plant, 2 star anise, 2.5 teaspoons of ground cloves, 3 teaspoons of ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and brew it to 20, like, 20 pints brew length. Uh, specific gravity to start was 1044, it ended on 1012, bottled it on 12th of December, uh, so that's been in the bottle 15 days. This bottle has been in the fridge, here's the beer label. It's been in the fridge for about two days. I have tried one of these before. Um, on Christmas Eve Eve. Oops. A bit of a hiss. Not much smoke going on. Very gingery on the nose in the bottle. Um, slight cinnamon. And slight star anise. Uh, we'll dive straight into pouring it. Uh, not badly carved, it's quite uh, it's quite a gentle pour, although I did manage to get some of the sediment dragged through slightly, so it's a little bit hazy, but as you can see, reasonably carbonated. Again, getting ginger and the cinnamon and the star anise, not really getting much in the way of nutmeg, but that's quite well close, but those are quite uh, mild, so you probably won't get them anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll go straight in for a bit of a taste. Straight in there with the uh, the root ginger and the chilies we're working in now. Um, you don't really get much of the cinnamon in the flavour, just in the smell. You could have had done to have had more cinnamon. But that has got to be by far the worst beer I have ever brewed. It is slightly better than the last tasting, but the root ginger is just way too much over the top. It has improved, as I say. And that is nearly drinkable. So Perhaps if I leave it for a month or two to condition the bottle. Missed Christmas obviously, but we may actually have another review of that because at the moment I've got to say it's almost undrinkable. The last I tried the first bottle on Christmas Eve's Eve, which was Saturday the 23rd, and I barely forced that down. It was absolutely awful. The ginger was way too up in the face. Um, and flavour-wise, it was horrendous. But that has died down quite a bit. It's still not good. The chilies is good. The chilies last for a long time. It, it takes a while for the chilies to come through, but we're just about coming through from the last mouthful now. 
and it's a nice solid burn not too hot just a lasting heat that you know you've had something chilly it's as if you've you've had a mouthful of chilli and you've got past the the main burn and it's the nice afterglow effect but yes we may do another review in a month or two's time I can't see myself drinking many more of these as it is because the ginger is just too much in your face way too much in your face anyway it was an experiment it may turn out all right hopefully because I've still got 18 bottles to go from five days ago that is a vast improvement to be honest I couldn't have drunk that much that fast five days ago it was truly awful the uh, it is producing a bit of a head but it's only young it's only had two weeks in the, in the bottle but anyway cheers I'll let you know if it's worth brewing in a couple of months time hope you had a good Christmas have a good new year and we'll see you again soon.